afternoon, guys. Hope you're well. Same process as ever. We've got Max on either side. You can introduce yourself by name and organization. That would be great. Set an embargo part way. Before I start the press conference, I want to say something. Um, I apologize to Stephen Gerrard for my unnecessary and stupid comments I said the last time about uh, him. He knows how I admire him and his career, what he has done for, for this country that I am living in a training session. I am training, I am a shape of myself, what I said because he doesn't deserve it. I truly believe my, my comments, what I said uh, in my previous conference about I defend my club, but uh, I didn't represent my club well, uh, putting his name in this stupid comment. So I apologize, I said to him personally, but like I comment publicly, I have to do it here as well. So I'm so sorry for him, from Alex, his wife, kids, family, because uh, it was stupid. Uh, you can start. Hello, Pep. Damien from Premier League Productions. Um, can I ask you, first of all, uh, any update on the injury news, specifically Erling Haaland, who was a doubtful uh, We trained this afternoon. So right now, I don't know. Yes, there was a recovery for the game we play against Aston Villa. Mm, that's all. Let's look ahead to Wednesday, then. Just how significant a game and how big a challenge do Arsenal pose uh, in this top two clash? By it is so far is the best team in the Premier League. We make an incredible first round, uh, first leg of the league. So we felt it a few weeks ago. We play a fair cup here. How commitment, uh, sharp, and and everything. And uh, yeah, we have to try to read the game we're going to play. It will be a, a big, big battle in in any department. And you have to be, you have to be, you have to be ready. Do you see signs that your team is returning to, to peak form after after the weekend? I'm not to truly believe like one week ago we are out of form. It's not the same team like uh, years ago. And now for one game, now we are back to the form. So I don't believe in this statement. So every game is different. So you, you can play good and win and everything is perfect. Tomorrow you can lose and everything is not good. So many games to play. Uh, a lot of points still to play, so tomorrow is another one, of course, an important one. Everybody knows it, we know it, and we have to try to perform well. Hi, Pep. Um, on, I guess I, you've said there's so many games to play, but how important psychologically is tomorrow in the title race? Of course, it's important because we can take the points. The best team so far, they cannot and they could not. And but after you have to go Nottingham Forest and Champions League, and you have the next six fixtures away. So I had the feeling that many things to happen. So if I cap in Champions League is no count, and they try to arrive the last eight, ten games of Premier League being there. This is the the deal, the target. And I would say that tomorrow will help us to be there in the last eight, ten games. But that's why. So there are many games, tough games, away home for for all the contenders. But of course, we cannot deny it's so important to prove ourselves. If we handle all the the aspects, I think this type of games uh, give it to you. I think it will be the big difference. You've never lost at the Emirates as Manchester City manager. I lost. I lost with Barcelona. So no the, but but in that six years, is this is this the toughest Arsenal, the toughest test you'll have faced there? Since I am England, yeah, definitely. And what we saw in the last week is a huge together spirit in the club. The players were in a huddle before kick-off against Aston Villa. Haaland put a picture on social media with the players all in a, in a huddle after training. Has there been a renewed togetherness within the squad that you've seen in the last week or so? Listen, after Arsenal, it was not just togetherness. So always I handle an incredible human beings and incredible football players since I am here. So I don't complain once. Uh, everyone making mistakes. I'm the first. So everyone has his own personality. He's tried to live together, and more or less these years have been perfectly being together. So players, club, manager, staff, backroom staff. So 
the moot is good have been good really really good from 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 many years but during the seasons after I said many things happen in the past and the success and many things sometimes little little things must be adjusted me myself first so to understand the situation sometimes differently and and, and this is but we are the light to be together and work together, not because we won last time Mila or because we lose against Spurs. Hi, Pep. Ben Ransom from Sky Sports. Um, last week we saw Arsenal on the receiving end of what was an incorrect VAR decision. As their main challengers in this title race, do you worry that something like that could be a decisive factor in this title race? Because obviously we've seen close finishes, haven't we, in the past, which you've been involved in? I don't know. I know it was a lot of a lot of VAR after that these last days that uh, uh, the people told me, but I don't know. And obviously you come up against Mikel again. I know you spoke a lot about him before the FA Cup game, but specifically with regard to title races, I'm looking back maybe at that 2018-2019 title when you won by one point over Liverpool, and Mikel was obviously part of that team. And I just I just wonder, does it make him a more formidable opponent? going into this title race, having had that experience as a group with you? The other time was always the time mainly was Liverpool. We cannot say Liverpool has not experience to handle under pressure many things. So I would say if three games left, four games left to finish the Premier League, the distance is one or two points, maybe it could be, yeah, but like I said to him, so I had the feeling they have a lot of games to play, a lot of points to play still. Of course, it's important, but there are many. Is that the Margot Center this evening, please?